Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. Who texted us? Speech help. Nice. I'd like to request your help with another speech. I've been feeling more courageous with you around. How's your schedule looking today? Yeah, I feel I can become closer to Yoshida. Yeah, since Yoshida is so elusive, I definitely want to take advantage of um, helping him out, especially since his, um, his perk actually helped us considerably in acquiring the funds that we needed. Um, so we're definitely going to want to invest in him. Head over immediately. Thank you. Please come to the front of the Shibuya station. I'll be waiting. Sundays are always so busy. Everyone! That you possess free will does not mean that you can always do as you please. To make your decisions based simply to lose and gain is to act like a heartless machine. The reason so few people care about their fellow man is because so few have the energy to do so. We politicians have fallen short of our goal to change society. We need your support more than ever. That approach isn't going to work. You, need to, you have to get more of the voters more excited. You're going to completely lose the hearts and minds of the people. Again, what I'd like to say is... What? Councilman Mats Matsusita? It's been so long since we last spoke. I wanted to stop by to see how you were doing. Oh, you have a high schooler volunteering for you, huh? My, times have changed. Do you know about the Kuramoto children? Um, yes, Mr. Yoshida told me. That was nearly 20 years ago. I'm impressed that you're so interested in politics. I was a member of the Kuramoto children as well. Yoshida and I joined the same year. I made an amazing career change, and from, the, from a pro wrestler to a diet member, really. I was elected easily, but I had no idea what I was doing. I realized I wasn't elected on my own merit, and when I failed to be re-elected for a second term. That was true for the both of us. No. You made a great comeback, though. You're a truly an inspiration. As you are, old friend. You're working harder than anyone in the campaign trail. Oh, there's no need for false praise to impress the boy here. Yoshida is well informed about the inner working of politics, so I'm sure he'll be a great teacher. However, I suggest you only do as he says and not as he does, if you want to become a diet member. Hmm? And what might that mean? I'm guessing he doesn't know. You really think you can win the election by being com You really think you can win the election by being completely honest and making good arguments? You've got to score secure votes, or else you'll be forever known as no good Torah. I don't think he's complete. I think he has a point there. He's not completely what? wrong. Without honesty and good arguments, there can be no political justice. I do more agree to Yoshida's ideals, though, even if it might be a little too optimistic and um, naive. As I said, it's that's what I would be. This is why I would make a good would not make a good politician. Though I did, I was um, student council vice president in high school, though, which I really enjoyed. It's been a while since I've heard one of your grandiose speeches. Art's good, was it? Tell me, what about Yoshida here drew you in? His message, his speaking skills, it's hard to say. I'm gonna say his message. Art's good. Your address matters quite directly for a young person. It seems you have been taught well. You're right. I intend to teach him everything I know. That's what we agreed on. I feel like my bond with Yoshida is growing deeper. Nice. Fundraising allows, to ask, allows you to ask for large amounts of money during negotiations. Yeah, we can right. cash in more! You will now earn more XP from Arcana Burst when fusing Personas on the Asun Arcade. Yoshida taught you how to use fundraising. By the way, how are things between you and old man Kuramoto? Yes. We're still not on speaking terms. There's something I'd like to get your opinion on, so I'll be in touch. Very well. Oh, that reminds me. You may still distrust me because of what happened with the missing party funds, but I'm not the one who pointed the finger at you. That's all I'm going to say. Interesting. Why did he have to mention that? Ah, uh, my apologies. That's all for today. Well then, I'll see you again. Good job. Cool. There's so many things I want to do at night. There's, so, there's a way too many things. It seems like there's way more things that we need to do in, in the evenings than during the day. But we'll see. Cool, I can read a book. We're able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? Um, Tidying the heart. Hmm? 
Gaze upon your clutter and with your heart detached from desire, the answer will come to you. Mm. Is this book really about cleaning or is it about training to become a monk? Mm. So you finish reading Tiding of the Heart. Cleaning is a way to speak to your heart. I've never thought of it that way. Reading this book must have taught you how to, how to contemplate and think more mm. efficiently, huh? Yes. Bring up that proficiency. Ooh, I ranked up proficiency. Yes. All right. Your proficiency has increased. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. I'd say so too. Oh my god. It's already July, huh? I hate the rainy season, but when it ends, it's, it's just hot. The humidity is what kills me about Japanese summers. I miss the dry heat of California. Not to mention July and August both have 31 days. Summer is long. Now then, Mr. Arts. Yes, um. How about you? Do you know the reason why July and August both have 31 days? To make summer vacation longer? Doubtful. Because the sun's out for longer. Someone's pretentious. Someone pretentious said so. The sun's out for longer. That makes the most sense. Nope. Too bad. That's not right. You might not know this. But the months of July and August are named after the Roman Emperor Julius and Augustus. I did know that. Augustus named a month after himself, just like Julius. However, he felt like he would be losing if his month was shorter than Julius's, so he added a day. Oh. It's a mystery why men are so stubborn and prideful over silly things like this. That makes sense. That's cool. Cool to know. Well, as far as you're all concerned, you're just lucky to get a long vacation. But before that, you have exams. They start on the 13th of next week. Don't forget, okay? I'm glad I did a lot of studying ahead of time. Next Wednesday, huh? You'd better make sure you study. I've been studying. I put in my time, so I can just take it easier this time. I don't think I'm going to be able to increase my knowledge up another rank by Sunday, by Wednesday, so this I'm not even going to try. There wouldn't be a point. Hmm? I heard the Phantom Thieves showed up in Shibuya this time. They're targeting that Mafia boss? Akechi-kun should deal with the Mafia instead of the Phantom Thieves, but maybe he's too busy. What are the Phantom Thieves trying to achieve? They're only targeting bad guys so far. Maybe they do it for fame. I guess they'd want to show up to Akechi-kun after he said those things on TV. How perceptive. Hmm? My new piece? This is about my new piece, Desire. It was selected for the public exhibition. It's already on display there now. Wow, cool. If it's alright with you, could we see it together? I feel like with my bond with Yusuke will grow stronger soon. So what's your call? Will you spend time with Yusuke? Uh, I definitely want to make that a priority. Like, that sounds like I should do it while it's still... While his exhibit's still there. But uh, I also want to see if Mako-chan... Mako is available. Just to see. Makoto's available too. What? Really? Um. Hey. I've yet to hear anything from Kaneshiro. All we can do now is wait until our time limit. Hmm? Do you need something on the third floor? Have you come to study in the library perhaps? No, I came to see you. Do you have a minute? Seems your studies have paid off. Have you been working hard? Seems I have enough knowledge to invite Makado out. This may be a good opportunity to, to uh, increase my bond with her. There's something I want to ask you. If it doesn't get in the way of your studies, that is. Um, maybe later. I see. I see. Well, come speak to me when you have a little more time. Yeah, I feel like I want to start hanging out with Makoto, but this one feels a lot more important. Because it's more, like, it's more time, time sensitive. So what's your call? Will you spend time with Yusuke? Yeah, go, go with him. Thank you. This will actually be my first time going as well. I will send you the location of the art museum now. Let's meet up and head there together. Ooh. A versatile area full of shopping and cultural establishments. Get cultured in art. Many famous paintings and sculptures can be seen at the art museum. All right. You, can now, you now have information on new hangout spot, Ueno Museum. You can also invite people who may enjoy art museums to hang out with you here, too. Oh, yeah, there it is. In addition to the exhibition aspect of the show, there is also an evaluation portion. Hmm, I believe my piece truly stands out among the sea of the art here. I 
and yet nobody has come to see it. Perhaps they are so afraid of the truth held within that they dare not take a closer look. What is this supposed to be? There's a dark, almost sinister aura emanating from it. Hmm, a little... The title is Desire. I see no desire here. Ah, I understand now. This area is for students. The artist likely decided to paint this on a whim. Indeed, there is neither elegance nor emotion in this piece. Oh my, that's harsh. Come, dear. There are much more detailed paintings over there. Oh no. Poor Yusuke. <sighs> There is no need to worry. I'm not bothered in the slightest. That was nothing more than the drivel of unrefined commoners. I needn't pay any mind to them. As long as those who are in the know understand my work, I will be happy. This is... Hmm. Look, a knowledgeable patron has arrived. Hmm. I would like your opinion, sir. What are your thoughts on this piece? I can see quite clearly why it was accepted into the exhibition. The technique is excellent. However, the composition as a whole is mediocre at best. Oh. What did you say? How dare you? Yusuke, it's their opinion. Like, I know that you're very prideful about... The thing with art is that... Um, you either make something that pleases other... That either pleases the public or pleases yourself. Different people make different pieces of art for different reasons. Some of them make one because they think it's going to be, you know, pleasant or pleasing to the to everyone else. And other people paint because it's something that speaks to them. And it might not necessarily mean the same thing or speak to the same way to other people. It's almost like that saying, you know, one man's trash is another person's treasure. Even though this is not, I wouldn't call this trash. It's just, this is something... Yusuke understands what's, like, the meaning behind this painting, and he understands, of course, his own intentions behind this painting, and he finds the beauty of this painting, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be something that everybody will be able to see as well. And that's perfectly fine, you know, it's... I think that art is... art is subjective, and... You know, I think Yusuke has to ask himself, are you doing this for yourself? Are you doing this for other people? And I know that he's trying to do both. He wants to be able to please himself and also please other people to like open their eyes. He wants to enlighten them. He wants to impassion them. But it's very tricky to do that. It's very tricky to do both. You know, with, with the subject matter he's trying to, um, that he's trying to work with. I think that's something that is super challenging for him to be able to please both himself and the masses at the same time. Uh, are you the artist? The title is listed as desire, but that idea is quite overused. Some may even call it stale. If you want to paint an abstract work with such an old theme, you must inject some individuality into it. What? You need to listen to what he has to say, because like you said, if he is a learned artist in this community, then you better be able to be ready to take criticism so that you can decide for yourself if you're going to use it the next time you make a new painting or ignore it. Um, so it's, but that doesn't necessarily mean that what he's saying is, he, I don't think he's being being spirited about it. I think he's just giving his honest opinion and it's up to Yusuke to decide whether or not he considers that opinion um, something that would be valuable to him or not. Take another look. Try to remove yourself from the artist's bias. These brushstrokes are splendid given your age, but does this painting really tell you anything? If it's, it is empty, devoid of meaning, I suggest you take a more critical eye to your work in the future if you truly want to progress as an artist. I think he was being very fair. My work is empty? That was harsh. What a D. Don't let it bother you. Um, I don't think it was harsh. I think he was being very honest, and I don't... I. I'd like to believe he was said it in a non-mean way, mean-spirited way. This is definitely not what I think. So this is the best, and even though I don't really like any of these responses, I'm gonna go with this one. Don't let it bother you. Just take what he says. Indeed. Why? But why? I put my heart and soul into this piece, captured the very essence of desire. It was supposed to lay bare the reality of the world. Perhaps... Perhaps he was right. It may be empty after all. Uh, no, I mean, this is this painting is not empty to you. 
it's clearly not empty to you. So I think, Yusuke, you just have to realize that some, some art that you make is really just for you. And then maybe you'll make another piece of art that is just for other people. And maybe you might make another piece of art that is for both. You might. But sometimes, so but just be understand that sometimes when you make a piece of art, it doesn't. It may only speak to you and only you, or very few people, and not the majority. These colors, these brush strokes, they do not convey the true meaning of desire. Only my conception of it. I haven't captured desire. Desire has captured me. How could this be? How could I have fooled myself into believing otherwise? Well, this is part of learning. You know, part of learning is also. You know, I guess not failing is kind of harsh, but part of learning is just being able to constantly critique yourself, see what could be improved, and then work on those improvements. And then, and then rinse and repeat. It's never ending. You're always trying to improve yourself as an artist, or at least you should be. Otherwise, you're not going to grow as an artist. It is as though I have been forsaken by the gods of art. This grave mistake shall be the end of me, for me. I think you're being a bit overdramatic, Yusuke. Stop exaggerating, it's just the beginning. Stand up. Stop exaggerating. This is no exaggeration. I am well and truly finished. What is going on to happen to me now? Without art, what will remain of my being? Yusuke, you're putting- you're being too hard on yourself. You know, stop the theatrics. You know, pick yourself up and do it because you love it, not because you're trying to live up to some ideal, you know. Do it because you love it and you're passionate about it. That's the way art should be, in my opinion. You're really giving up? This isn't like you. Stand up, Yusuke. This isn't like you. Angela, read. You are correct. Surrendering myself to fate after only one failure would be very much unlike me. Yeah, one failure. If you're ready to throw in the towel to be one fail... If you're ready to throw in the towel after one failure, then yeah. Then you have no business being an artist. But, you know, me as a... Uh, my, my career is in software engineering. You don't think I've failed terribly during my climb to become a software engineer? I failed multiple times. And I could have just decided to stop after one failure. And had I stopped after one failure, then clearly I'm not meant to be a software engineer. But because I picked myself up after each failure and I learned from each of my failures, that proves that I actually am meant to be doing what I'm doing. So... Still being criticized by someone with such a keen eye is truly painful. It is! Oh, I'm not saying it's not. It is. And some critics are going to be far worse than that and more trollish and less helpful. But that's just par for the course. Same thing that happens with YouTube, you know. People criticize my videos all the time, constantly. And at the end of the day, I have to decide, am I making these videos for myself? Or am I making these videos for other people? Or both? And the answer is, like, I try to do both. I try to make videos that not only makes it fun for me, but makes it fun for people who watch my videos. That being said, not everybody is interested in my content for whatever, for one reason or other. And that's fine. At the end of the day, like, I do videos, I do YouTubes, because I enjoy it and I'm passionate about it, not necessarily because I'm going to please every single person out there. This is why I'm not really all that concerned about how many subscribers I have or how many likes I have, because at the end of the day, I am perfectly fine, you know, having a more intimate audience, an intimate size audience, um, and do what I love to do. I could easily increase my numbers, I shouldn't say easily, but I could increase my numbers even more by playing games that I'm not as interested in, but are very hot and popular. I could, imp you know, I could um, do things on my channel that I'm not as passionate about or I'm not as interested in, just because more the vast majority might be more interested in that kind of content. But 
then again, then I'm like denying myself of what I truly am interested in, what I'm passionate about. So number one really is I, I believe I should be YouTubing because I like making the videos that I'm making and I enjoy the content I'm making and not try to focus so much on this ideal of trying to please everybody and trying to make everyone like understand what I'm trying to offer to the community. Um, so it has to be, I have to be happy with it first. And then in doing so, hopefully, you know, there will be other people who I can cater to. Um, and I think Yusuke, I, you know, I think Yusuke has to understand that as well with his own work. People will criticize you and there will be trolls. And that's just part, that's just part of it. And you just have to like be able to learn from them or decide what you can learn from or decide what you can ignore. Okay. But that is all the more reason I must break out of my slump. I must prove my ability to him. That's the spirit. I will start by painting. After that I will paint, beyond which I shall paint even more. That is the only way I will learn if to capture the essence of the motion. After all, you can only accomplish so much in using logic to analyze the contents of the heart. I hope you allow me to continue my skill card services as well, Angelus. I shall conquer this. I would, once I get a blank skill card. Yusuke seems especially motivated. I just need to get a blank skill card. Yeah, follow-up. Chance to form a follow-up attack if Joker's attack does not take down the enemy. Right. I really enjoy that one. That one's a good one to have. Let us return home. Now let us head home. I wish to start anew. Good job, buddy. A slump, hmm? Ooh, I think this is going to continue later. Ah, you're back. Ah, you're back. Kans Kanishiro got rid of those photos, right? That's what he said. You think we can trust him? I doubt he'd lie if he really had a change of heart. Looks like we're all clear then. We can't be sure of that just yet. You mean he might not have had a change of heart? No, I'm relatively certain he did. That is not the issue. Despite Kaneshiro's changes, his organization remains intact. I can only hope they don't abscond with the photographs. Yo, you mean like run off with it? I guess that's, that is possible. After all, loss of the leader does not necessarily spell out the demise of the group. That is merely common knowledge. But the opposite sometimes holds true as well. Some groups that lack a strong guiding hand will simply crumble. So this all depends on which way it goes. We'll be fine. All we can do now is pray the pieces fall in our favor. Hopefully Kaneshiro's confession motivates the police to crack down on the Mafia. I would love nothing more than to see them defeated once and for all. That part will be up to Makoto's sis. That aside, we've done everything we can for the time being. All that remains now is to wait until the result becomes clear. According to Yusuke's info, there's a famous shogi player in Kanda, right? If we have time, why don't we meet them there? Another box came for you. Oh boy. What did you get? Freeze spray. Must be what you ordered off of TV. What does this do? Deals 50 ice damage to one foe. That's actually not bad. So much I need to do. So Jiro, I want to check out this new map, but I also want to go to the fortune teller. I feel like we need to. I can feel it. Hmm? I do want to make some purchases, some book purchases. What do you want? Cinema Treasures Batting Science. Let's go buy some from Cinema Treasures. I may be. I'm not planning on doing any. Maybe come here later, once you find a book that piques your interest. I'm not planning on going to the batting cage anytime soon, so... Don't wander off too much, alright, unless you might end up getting lost. Crossroads? Oh. No, I don't want to go to the crossroads. I want to go to the fortune teller. Hey you, we need to talk. Let's ask Chia about the Holy Stone. 
Hmm, she's with a client. Sounds like they're talking about the Holy Stone. Do you want to eavesdrop on them? Yeah, let's eavesdrop. Um... How are you healing? I I'm fine. It's my fault anyway. Yuya said so. He says he doesn't want to hit me, but I just make him so mad. Why? Oh, this woman. But he makes me so mad. I suggest you break up with him. Things are only going to get worse at this rate. But, but I'm the only person that cares about him. If I leave, how will he survive? That's not your problem. Please, is there any other way? Now. Let us ask the tarot. Oh, divine power, shed light upon her fate. Is this? I, yes, I've seen everything. Hmm, I can sense a dark presence within your boyfriend. His heart seems to be possessed by a demon. The this demon may hide itself away at times, but when it strikes, it will bring with it great misery. Oh, what kind of misery? You, may, you will be hospitalized for severe injuries suffered in a domestic abuse incident, and he will be arrested. Wow, that's pretty specific. What? Hospitalized? Arrested? I knew I shouldn't have let Yuya throw the, my holy stone away. He said I shouldn't be wasting my money on some dumb rock, that I should be giving it to him instead. This is my punishment for letting him do that, right? Please, let me buy another one from you. What? What? You want another? My next stone will need to be even bigger. I'm a little low on cash at the moment, but you said I can pay enough to 36 installments, right? Um, truthfully, I feel breaking up with him would be the best. I can't abandon you, ya. Yeah? Oh, really? yeah, you can. She really thinks her boyfriend will stop abusing, stop being abusive as long as she has a holy stone? There's no way that could be true, right? That thing was a fake, remember? It's just rock salt. Mm. Right. It would make our jobs way easier if you could really change someone's heart with a holy stone. It's clear that Ch Chahaya has some fortune-telling skills, but that stone isn't going to do anything. Hey, Angelus, why don't we change that Yuya guy's heart ourselves? I mean, he's hurting this woman here, right? This is the perfect chance for the Phantom Thieves to save her. Hmm? Hmm. Meowing? What? Hey, were you eavesdropping on us? That's an invasion of privacy, you know. That stone won't help her. There's another solution. It's not good to scam people. There's another solution. It's not... So It's not good to scam people. I don't appreciate your accusation. The thing you is... You see, some fates in this world are simply inescapable. The demon within your boyfriend's heart cannot be exercised by normal human methodologies. Fate is absolute. Although I guess you might be able to control the demon's temper if you brought an bought another holy stone. Um, I'm not entirely sure who you are, but do you know of any other way I can approach this problem? What is your boyfriend's name? Huh? His na full name is Yuya Uchimura. Uh, what do you want, Mom? Why do you want to know? What are you planning on doing? <sighs> yes, what do you expect to change with that meager information? Uh, you'll see. What? You honestly believe you can do something? I. I trust you. Excuse me? It feels like he's telling the tr it feels like he's telling the truth. Besides, Yusa has all my money. He's going to pay me back someday. But for now, I would rather put my trust in this one boy than in 36 payments for a holy stone. Uh, that makes sense. What? <sighs> you. What do you think you're doing? If you keep making false accusations like that, the divine power will rain punishment down upon you. You look so pleased with yourself. Hmm. I've seen everything. A vision of you groveling on the Fine. ground. Fate cannot be changed, and I will prove that fact to you. If that woman stays with her abusive boyfriend, she will meet a horrible injury within a year's time. Now, if you honestly believe you can change your destiny, go ahead and try. But once you realize the error in your thinking, come back and let a true expert handle things. I will save her, with a holy stone. Guess we're gonna have to prove her wrong. Well then, are we done here? I'm way too busy for this. Ending the boyfriend's abuse request. Ooh, that is definitely something we're gonna prioritize soon. Very cool. We've got lots to do. This humidity is Good morning. Overwhelming. It's quite hot today. By the way, Kaneshiro's deadline is this weekend, isn't it? His change of heart draws near. The Phantom Thieves will be even more renowned than before when this goes public. Uh, it's going to get busy. 
True, this is true. With the added attention, we may receive more requests on that message board. I think we should take care of all the cases we have now while we still have the chance. Yep, especially with the new boyfriend thing. Definitely, we'll want to do that. All right. Hey. Hey, we can't just let that abuse case go unaddressed. The target should be in mementos. Let's hurry up and deal with them. We will. We will. Patience, young Padawan. All right, guys. So we will. We will um, continue, in, continue in the next video. So thank you for watching, and until next time, love yourselves and love each other.